Okay, float above. We are back, guys, to start up episode number 63 of Kirby Fighters 2. In the last episode, we did another single-handed matchup again, this time using the artist ability, which was not bad. We were actually able to get yet another platinum. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So let's go ahead and continue the game as we get into the next act. Let's do another dream character solo match. I feel like I'm in a good mood to do this again since the last time I did this was pretty eventful, so why not? Let's head back to the stage of Distinct Rivals again and do the same exact kind of more shit again. Cause why the heck not? I mean, after all, you gotta do what you gotta do, so why not? Let's go for it. All out pummel brawl. Bring it on. Ow. Okay, well that Gordo interrupted my killing spree twice. So as promised, we're going to get back into story mode and try to finish up the rest of this chapter because recently we didn't get the chance to continue this, but we're going to do so today. All right, let's get into this. Next up, the perky artist and the flawless Van Dino Aldi. Oh, we got another, uh, <laughs> Sprixy joint. All right, that's the second time that we've seen that, but all right then. Let's go for it, guys. Come on. Ooh, we're doing damage, man. You gotta watch out, though, because they're gonna be a little bit brutal to battle against. You hit me, which in turn made you get into the... Ex man, you are stupid. Ow! Okay, float up. Ouch! Ouch! Jesus Christ, we're all low on HP! Every single one of us! Okay, well, except for a spirit. That was a lot of nonsense. First of all, we ended up doing pretty good at the beginning of the battle, then all of a sudden, all of us were low on HP, and then thirdly, me and Bandit Awadi almost died. We thankfully didn't, but my god! What an insane battle, man. That was ridiculous with the damage we ended up receiving. I mean, my lord! That was way too much damage for comfort, man. Ridiculous. But hey, positive is that we survived, so that's what matters. Okay, nine floors left. We need to heal badly. You don't gotta tell me twice. Give me that maximum tomato right now. I would rather take this than taking a score statue. As much as I wanted to do that silver score statue, ain't doing that for this episode. Next up, the Furious Hammer. Oh, crap, it's Hammer. Okay, okay. I'm bound to get screwed in this battle. Okay, your boy's gonna end up losing against Hammer. Hopefully we don't end up losing, but, oh boy. Of all things, we had to deal with Hammer. Why? Way too far away from that guy. And in turn, he got squashed. Okay, you're actually an idiot. Ah. 
I was kind of not meaning to do that, but whatever. For the love of God, get away from that. Thank you. That dude, my boys got annihilated. That dude got annihilated, man. Even after being in it while he got squashed, we still annihilated him. Darn, son, that is ridiculous. Smart move that I actually healed, because if I didn't, we would have been screwed. So thank God your boy thought smart and actually managed to get a health recovery item and pick that maximum tomato. See, picking healing items does have a saving grace to it. Anyways, 18 floors left. Ooh, that's a tough one. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Hellstone level 1. Why not? We might as well do that, so why not? Next up, the Fierce of Magalor and the Rising Star Whip. Is that DeRoach? Wait a second, is that a DeRoach Whip? I don't know how that looks pretty sweet. That looks pretty smooth, I gotta say. But I didn't know DeRoach actually... Okay, that, that's a bit of an unusual choice. Didn't know that um, DeRoach can actually make an appearance for Whip, but um, I guess if you think about it, it does make sense. So I guess that makes a little bit of sense, but that's a really interesting choice. DeRoach with Whip. And these dudes here are getting annihilated. Stone in your face! <laughs> Let's go! Get those suckers out of here. Okay, literally he dodged all the attacks, but it didn't matter anyway because we still won. Man, Gully and Bandana Waddle Dee are out for freaking blood, man. When I say they're out for blood, I mean seriously they are out for blood. My Jesus Christ, man, they're like going in with their damage game. Crazy, man. That was some insane damage that they just dealt. My goodness, bro. Okay, we're almost there. We're not quite at that point yet, but we're getting there. All right, seven floors left. Oh, that's a tough one. Hmm. Let's do the... Yeah, let's do the explosive sticker. Why not? We'll choose this one. I wanted to do the uh, recovery thing at first, but I think we're good. Next up, the professional staff and the developing bomb. The only items here are cracklers. Ah, okay. So we've only got them cannons in here, eh? Okay, I see them. And plus, on top of that, the uh, party hat bomb returns, as well as the uh, Sam Powers and staff. Okay, let's... No, no. This should be an interesting battle. Only cracklers are the only items that we can use to our advantage. Oh, they are getting destroyed! Yo! They got annihilated! Don't think you need to do any damage! Gilly and Man and Wildy destroyed them! Darn, son, I was not expecting that. My goodness! We did a shootload of damage, man. That is ridiculous, man. Oh yeah, we have just enough to get to level 63. Yeah, sure enough. All right, 63. Cursed attack stone level four. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ, that looks serious as heck, man. Look at that. Okay, did not expect that of all things. All right, six floors left. Hmm, what to do? You know what? Let's do the base container breaking sticker. Why not? We actually have not acquired the sticker in a while, so why not? We'll choose this one. Next up, the fearsome beam. Oh, crud. This guy has marks. We're going back to Fountain of Dreams again? Okay, didn't expect that place of all places, but okay. But oh, great. We have to deal with this marks guy again. Okay. Smart move that you got that health recovery item. You were low on HP, dude. Man, we took 
Kirby with little to no issues. Darn it. And that was a smart move, too, that Bandana Bobby managed to get that health recovery item, because otherwise he would have been screwed. So, smart thinking that you were able to get that health recovery item, or otherwise he would have been screwed. I did not get damaged? Okay, I guess I was not paying attention, but I guess I'll take it. Hey, not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. We haven't even had that bad this episode. Alright, this only just means we have five floors left to go. Let's go for the gold score statue. Alright, I think with that statue equipped, I think this is a good place to stop and wrap up this episode, because... Hoo-wee! Bandana Wallaby and Gooey were murdering this with damage, man. Ridiculous they can do that insane amount of damage, you know? Alright, folks. Well, I think this is a good stop to wrap up this episode. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's been overall a lot of fun making this episode. When we come back for the next couple of episodes, we're going to try and beat single-handed matchups with the last three abilities that I hadn't used yet. Plus with Fighter and Archer, because if you remember recently, I didn't do it too good with Fighter and Archer when I was using them during the uh, single-handed matchups. So mark my words, people, I'm going to redo those again when we get back into it. I don't know how it's going to go, but I know for sure I'm going to redo it to where it's, you know, going to make sense within that agenda if that makes any sense. But the point is that I'm going to try and redo them again so I can do a lot better than what happened last time. That's my point that I'm trying to stress with this. But anyways, see y'all next time when we come back for the next episode to tackle through some more of this game and get into those last single-handed matchups for normal difficulty. So till next time, guys, bye.